All right, John Canelli. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a good one. Um, really excited about doing this one. Um, there's been a little bit of a Canelli sense lately. If you are in with the TCAP community, there's been a lot of uh, renewed interest in our friend Special Guy Twenty Nine. So I feel like it's appropriate to fucking do a little look at him here. Um, you know, he probably doesn't need any introduction. It's very, uh, you know, if you watch TCAF, you probably know who John Kennelly is. He's very, one of the fucking most significant predators, I think. You know, you have the, the Mount Rushmore of predators. Usually John Kennelly should be up. I think John Kennelly is, is right in that, in that tier. Um, you know, I am working on a, a personal favorite predators list. I don't actually remember where I had Kennelly ranked. Um, it wasn't, I, I might need to reevaluate, but it wasn't in the top four or top five. Um, but who knows? Uh, it could it could easily get back up to there at, at some point. But um, because I, I've watched his footage uh, quite a few times this week, and um, it's it's fucking quality footage, man. Um, and of course, he's very significant because he showed up twice, and this is. Something I think I have an unpopular opinion about. Oh, what the hell? Get the hell out of here, fucking phone. Um, I think I have an unpopular opinion when it comes to this about which Canelli confrontation was the best. Um, I think the first one. I think I think the the time he showed up at the house is is the better confrontation. Um, that's just me. So, but we're going to, this might end up being two parts. Um, I think it would be maybe a be appropriate for it to be two parts. I don't know. We'll see how long this video goes, but, uh, yeah, uh, part one is very significant and you also get to see, uh, this is why I stopped the footage here, started the footage here. Um, you get to see Canelli's fucking, what clothes he was wearing. So he still looks like he's still wearing jorts. Um, he wore jorts the next day. We all know that. We, the difference is, I wish I could see clearly what the shirt is. I think it's blurred, actually, what that logo is in the center there. I think that's a little bit blurred. So you can see, like, it's black right here, and it kind of goes off line right there. So I think that's a blurred logo. Um, I wish I knew what that logo was. I can't... I, I want to say it looks like a Snapple logo, but I don't think it is. Something with the sun, I don't know. Someone knows what fucking logo had, like, what, what logo that is. That'd be, uh, really cool. Um, I'd like to know. Uh, but yeah, obviously, he was wearing the Operation Iraqi Freedom shirt. I, it's, uh, that's what I was wearing. I really wanted to see if he was wearing the same shirt two days in a row. Because Canelli's a guy who's not all there, so, um, you know, see if he, how he changes his wardrobe. But he's got the same, looks like he's got the same shorts on. Maybe he pulls a fucking Lee Greer. It's like he wears his shorts twice because they're not dirty. But no, like, more likely, I think, Can uh, Canelli just goes to Walmart and buys fucking five pairs of jorts and just wears them every single day. It could be 30 degrees out, like it is today, and he's just fucking wearing jorts. But, okay, here we go. At one point, the decoy said something about, you know, what would be really hot, strip down your underwear in the garage and walk in. Canelli says in the chat, I don't wear underwear. The decoy says something to the effect of, well, you know, come in how you are. We really didn't think he was going to do it. Uh, this is our second investigation, and while we'd seen some surprise... So, um, it's really fucking interesting. I have his chat log pulled up already. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that was the fucking background. Oh, man, I love this picture. Canelli's a fucking great guy. I mean, he's not a great guy, but he's a great fucking... He's just fucking hilarious in every single way. But what's really significant about Canelli... Chat starts at 3.57 p.m. Fucking ends at 4.55 p.m. Like, chatting with this kid for less than an hour, 58 minutes. And... That's enough. In that time span, he decides, I'm going to show up to his house fucking naked. Like, you even had the Predators fucking, there were Predators that fucking chatted for months. Well, not months, but a month with the decoy. 
and <laughs> that picture is still fucking hilarious. <laughs> You get you get guys who are um, who talk to the decoys for much definitely much longer. They never did that. Only Marvin Lackan was the only other one on the show to do that. But um, like for 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 Kennelly to only chat with the guy for fifteen um, or fifty fifty eight minutes and decide in that time span. Yeah, I'm gonna show up naked. Oh my goodness, I, I mean, that's that's something that's doesn't get brought up a lot. Like, look, this is like the short, one of the shortest chat logs you'll ever see. Like, oh my goodness, I can't, I just, I, I can't believe it. Surprising things, you know, who's gonna walk into a stranger's house naked? Well, thank you to Joey's TCAT channel for the, uh, footage also. <laughs> oh man, just, so just right away. Um, just what a mess, man. This guy leaves his socks on. I wonder, what, you know, you didn't, if you're going to leave your socks on, where did you put his, like, why would you leave the socks on? You're like, oh, everything else could come off, but the socks is where I draw the line. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty funny. And then I wish I, I you know, I really wish there was an unedited version of this, because I would love to see it, um, personally. Um... I mean, he's, he's, uh, that, that would be quite the sight. Like, you know, this is one of those rare moments where I wish I were Frag or Del Harvey. Because you could, you, you would have seen the whole fucking, the uncensored version. We don't get the uncensored version. I wish we had the uncensored version. <laughs> right there, there's like, I don't know what that was. It wasn't like a, um... It sounded like sometimes when you, in like these suburban houses, when you enter the door, a fucking like, not an alarm goes off, but like a sound goes off to let somebody know that, hey, somebody just entered the house as like a security thing. I think that's what went off right there, and Kennelly got a little spooked. <laughs> he's like, he like looks at it, like, he like does like a double take. <laughs> he's like, holy shit. Oh, man, but he's like, it doesn't phase him, though, for more than, like, a split second. He just comes back, waltzing back in. Oh, and right there, he got... whoever's watching this footage right here gets a nice... <laughs> it's a little... gets a nice up-close-and-personal look at Kennelly's ass. <laughs> we knew that Lauren had uh, pimples on his. Can you imagine what this guy's fucking ass must have looked like? Oh my goodness. And this is the great debate. What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god, there's so, so much. Ah, god damn it. Hang on one second, guys. Alright, alright, I'm back. I fucking phone friggin'. Gosh. Anyways, <laughs> this is one of the great fucking uh, mysteries of TCAF. Was he fapping right here? Was he jerking off? I am jerk off right here? Was he, was he doing, was that what he was doing? Because there's no arm movement at all. And he just, he looks very focused. I don't know what this is. Um, I would love to know. I, uh, you know, part of the reason why you wish you had uncut footage or unedited footage, uh, you would maybe have the answer to that, but it's very odd. I don't know what he's doing here, because it's like, the way his arms are even positioned, it doesn't look like, I, I, I don't know. You know, there's no arm movement or anything. He's just got, there's also, the fucking elephant in the room. Look at these fucking titties that he's got, man. Like, he doesn't come off as being severely overweight or anything, but then you look at his tits, and you're like, what the fuck? Um, maybe he was really fat at one point. Like, imagine a fucking morbidly obese fucking John Kennelly. Oh my god, so on top of being a fucking creep and a fucking loser, he's also <laughs> fucking 400 pounds. And, um, I guess that maybe, it maybe explains why he was so eager to go to a McDonald's and meet, um, somebody. You know, he probably went there to get something to eat, uh, <laughs> a few times, very often, maybe in a past life or something. I don't know. 
But yeah, I mean, just look at those fucking titties, man. That, that is surprising. Never, I never knew. I never actually realized how bad it is. Because I, it might just be, like, the angle or something. Because when, when you see the other angles, it doesn't stand out that much. But he's got, in this angle at least, he's got some fucking titties, man. If he was a, a female, oof. Handsome. And right, right here, I, like, it's very. I'm not gonna go back to it, but again, you, there's no arm movement. Maybe he's just like I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's just getting in the zone, like fucking, um, you know, like how athletes before a big game, you know, they'll so at their um, at their locker with their headphones on, just getting into the zone. Maybe that's what Canelli's doing right here. Who knows? <laughs> and then Hanson is just. Um, <laughs> Oh, to fucking have a point of view shot from Chris Hansen on this. That would be that would be fucking top quality right there. Oh man. <laughs> and those fucking loud steps. It doesn't even phase Canelli. That's what I'm saying. He must be just like in the zone right now. He's pumped he's getting pumped. You know, he says it in the chat a couple times, like, oh yeah, you've pumped, bro. And um so he's team he's trying to get pumped, I guess. Um I don't know. It's very odd how there's, like, nothing... That doesn't even phase him. This is just a great... Like, this guy's like, oh, I'm gonna fuck this guy up right here. And he is. And Hanson doesn't know what to do. Like, this is... That's the shocking thing. Like, Hanson's like, I never would have expected this to happen. Do you think, like, Hanson was briefed on this? Like, he obviously knew that he was coming in naked because they put the fucking towel here. But do you think Hanson was, like, encouraging them to have him try to show up naked? Or was that just something PJ did, and then they told Hanson, like, last minute, hey, oh, this guy's coming in naked, by the way. That's, that's, yeah. You know, I wonder how much Hanson was involved, if he was involved at all in that uh, planning right there. Could you explain yourself? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you explain yourself? I'm sorry. He is so shocked. Oh, I love this. Could you explain yourself? <laughs> I love his fucking reaction, man. He is. I'm sorry. I love his. He's always. He's got his trademark, um, his signature, uh, befuddled expression on his face. Um, <laughs> he just permanently looks like this. Oh man, yeah. He's just got nothing to say. The only thing that he can is like a he sounds like a fucking toddler who got caught, uh, I don't know, fucking stealing a toy from another toddler. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. Okay, he is. He was not expecting <laughs> that to happen at all. And there is a theory that when he heard he, that he heard the uh the footsteps, he thought it was the kid, and um, and the kid. Uh, he, he just thought the kid was going to come up and, like, surprise him or something. Um, it, it might have been referenced in the chat log. I can't remember right now. But, yeah. Um, like I th It was, like, something referenced, like, oh, the kid was, he was going to stand there naked and, um, with, by himself, and then the kid was going to come in and surprise him. I think it was something like that. I'm not 100% sure, though. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Certainly. Certainly. I'm sorry. And you can see his gold fucking chain. I, you know, I he, I wonder where he got that gold chain. Um, because he doesn't have a job, and I don't know when the last time he had a job was. So he's not buying it himself. I'd like to think that someone gave it to him for like a Christmas present, or something. You know, years ago, and he's still wearing it because he's got. He's like, oh, at least it makes me, makes me look cool, you know. Also, I think his father is a uh, registered offender also. <sniffs> Gotta double check that, but I'm pretty sure he is. What's going on here? Yes, you're saying I am to me. I need someone to come on over. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, a, that's a great line. They still got that fucking... He has no clue where he's at right now, man. He's still got that befuddled expression on his face. And, um... You know, that's one of my favorite lines. You, you, you saw I am me, and he told me to come on over. 
Like, oh, so he thinks that Hanson's the the father of the boy, which is fine, a fair fair assumption, I guess. But, um, he's like, oh, he I am me. Like, <laughs> they told me to come on over. Like, that's gonna make it any better. <laughs> it's just it's because a thirteen year old kid tells you to fucking come on over doesn't mean you should. Oh man, Kennelly's a fucking legend. He I am you. Yes, sir. And he, like, <laughs> why is he, he? Does he not know how to wrap a towel around himself? He's like holding it awkwardly the whole time. Like, does he not know that you can like wrap it around yourself and tuck it in so it stays there? I don't think he knows that you can do that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's got to get a fucking clue, man, how to wear a towel. Or you can just pull a Marvin Lakehan. Marvin Lakehan didn't even wrap it around himself. He left his ass exposed, like, the entire time. Sure. How did he know to I am you? I don't know, sir, honest. So he just chose you out of the blue. He still his forehead. How did he know to I, I am love, you? You know, they, uh... <laughs> The, the John Dupay, his forehead was wrinkled with Ori. What is fucking John Kennelly's forehead wrinkled with? <laughs> it's more than Ori. Oh, shit. I don't know, sir, honest. So he just chose you out of the blue and said, come on over, get naked, and walk into the kitchen. Well, I sat there talking to him for a little bit, yes. And what'd you guys talk about? We were just talking about anything, sir. How old and look at this. I hate the way he looks from the back. I really... He just looks like he has the fucking head that you just want to, like, smack with a baseball bat. <laughs> like, he just looks so fucking stupid, man. He's got some stupid, doofy-ass haircut. He's got a fucking bald spot. And he's got, like... <sighs> just terrible posture and everything. Like, he just looks like a fucking, like, cartoon character from the back. Like, wow, I'm trying to think of the show. Oh, I can't think of the fucking show. It was on Nickelodeon, I think, years ago. Uh, you know, where all the people, like, they had no, um, like, des uh, separation between their chin and their neck. So it was just, like, one line going from their chin and their neck. Like, there was no indentation. I don't know if I'm even making sense. But there's, like, no indentation there. And it just was, like, one, it just, like, looked like this. <laughs> it looked like fucking. I wish I could remember the name of the show. Maybe it wasn't a show. Maybe it was a video game. I have no fucking clue. How old are you? I'm 29, sir. 29. 29. Oh, yeah. You know, is that. Oh. oh. A little bit, yes. And what'd you guys talk about? 29. 29, okay. So that. Special guy. 29, and even right here, so he's listed as John 29. He's not 29, though. Um, that ex maybe explains special guy 29, because he was just always going to be 29 in, on AOL, anyway. He was going to be 29. And what do you do for a living? I drive a school bus. You drive a school bus? <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, why lie about driving a school bus? Like, why, why is that the fucking fake job you come up with? Say you're an accountant, say you're a janitor, say you're anything but a fucking school bus driver. And you thought it was appropriate to walk into the home of a 14-year-old boy who you thought was alone, buck naked. I love the way Chris Hansen says that right there. He's just so shocked, man. Like, he is, he is like, you know, this was the second sting in TCAP. And the first one in Long Island, or on Long Island, I guess, um, you know, there wasn't a character like this, like some of the characters that showed up in fucking Virginia. Um, Chris Hansen's shocked. Like, he could, do you think Chris Hansen ever dreamed that TCAP, he would fucking meet somebody like this? home of a 14-year-old boy who you thought was alone, buck naked. <laughs> what was your plan? I don't know, sir. What's your full name? John Kennelly. And he's got worry in his voice, man. He is shocked. He is a C. <laughs> Does not know how to handle himself right now. And then you got this fucking bag blocking the shot also. I want to see that worried face. And you're a school bus driver or a teacher? Teacher. teacher. You're a teacher. <laughs> so he changes his profession in a split second from fucking school bus driver to teacher. So, like... Oh my god, it's just like, there's so many questions, like, 
about this guy. Like, why would you say that? And that's why he, then he changes his profession from fucking school bus driver to teacher in a split second. <laughs> I'm gonna need to see some ID. <laughs> just look at his fucking posture, man. He just, oh, stand up straight, sit up straight, man. And Dell comes in and fucking fixes the bag because it's blocking the door. I'm not that at home, so I'm sorry. I, I'd like to see some ID. It turned out later that he was neither a teacher nor a bus driver. In fact, he was unemployed and had been for some time. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> they had to interject there and cut in to say that. Like, yeah, obviously. I mean, obviously this guy is not a fucking teacher. <laughs> conduct is this for a high school teacher? <laughs> That's another great line right there. <laughs> Look at the fucking face right here. <laughs> that was another great line. What kind of conduct is this? For a high school teacher. I've never done this before. He sounds like he's gonna cry, man. He is not prepared for this situation. You're gonna tell me you've never done this before? No, sir. So you just woke up this morning and said, I'm going to get involved in an internet conversation with a 14-year-old boy. I'm gonna go to his house, strip naked, and walk in with a 12-pack of beer. This was just something you thunk up today. No, sir. I'm gonna talk to him about it online. <laughs> he is fucking crying, man. He's still got that fucking wrinkle in his forehead, man. Put your fucking eyebrows down. Oh my god. I just want to smack this guy. I really do. I fucking hate him, but I lo fucking love him. So much great con content. Did you see how this looks, John? Yes, sir. Let me just yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Please, don't do anything to me. Sorry, he doesn't cut it. What am I? What, what would have happened? Hanson is shocked, man. This is, you know, I love it when Hanson. <laughs> I mean, I don't love it because he's fucking. Sometimes he gets to be like a drama queen about it. Oh, this is something I wanted to say. Remember when he was like fucking standing at the, you know, this by playing, not playing, maybe playing with his dick. I'd love to know. Hanson maybe was too nervous at this being the second sting and everything to ask what he was doing because obviously he asked Alonzo Hampton Wade what he was going to do and he didn't even have he wasn't he didn't even have his dick he was about to have his dick out but he didn't have his dick out he asked Alonzo Hampton Wade what he was doing but he didn't ask Kennelly what he was doing and again he freaked cuz that you know that clicked because I'm like oh sometimes Hanson is like a drama queen about it and cuz Alonzo Hampton Wade was just going to go outside and take a piss but he's like oh he was going to expose himself to the girl and nah, I don't think he was at that point. What would have happened, John, if I wasn't here? I probably would have chickened out, sir. <laughs> chickened out. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. I probably would have chickened out, sir. Oh my god, I love it. Such an outdated fucking expression, also. Fucking Canelli. I would love to know a little bit more about his backstory, you know? About his upbringing. Because apparently he had, he had to have been a kid at one point. What kind of kid was John Canelli? Oh, man, he was probably a fucking mess. And he's not wearing his fucking earring. He wears an earring in the second in the second one. He's not wearing his ear. I don't know why he's not wearing it. Maybe he took it off along with his clothes. But he left his other fucking shoes. He's got, like, two bracelets and a fucking chain. He didn't wear his fucking uh, earring. He's got his hand up there on his mouth. It's just a defense mechanism to... To uh, try to give him sen some sense of uh, protection, but he's got, he's good. Bad news is he's not gonna. He's gonna need a different type of protection. Do you see why that is hard for me to believe? I do say that is the truth. You say to him, "Are you straight, bi, or gay?" He says, "Gay." I just don't tell anyone. You say, "Sweet, I won't. I promise." You say, "You are so." Having hot, bro. <laughs> I want to be your boyfriend if you will have me. I'm serious. <laughs> so, so effing hot, bro. That is, that is quite the line. I like that one a lot. Um, you are so effing hot, bro. And this is uh, he gets another thing. He says that in his chat so many times. He says, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Special guy 29 here. I'll be your boyfriend if you'll have me. 
I was just chatting. I was just <laughs> chatting. You're sitting in this kitchen naked, John. Uh, that's Chris Hansen yelling. I, I that's one of the rare. I mean, Chris Hansen ye- yelled at a few predators like that, but that's that, that's um maybe the first instance of that. Chris Hansen hears that he's so like, like did he actually just say that? And yeah, he did. I'm just I was just chatting, sir. <laughs> chatting, yeah. And the internet and real life are two different things. We all know that. That's why you showed up naked. That's a step beyond chatting, isn't it? Yes, and hands at all, and he is shaking, man. He was he's never been yelled at in his life. You can tell. He's never gotten a fucking ass kicking. He's never had anyone fucking tell him the truth of what he is. Yeah, he is. So like it ah, that there's people that uh, there's actually someone who exists. That's John Kelly. Like, do you ever realize how fucking fortunate we are that this happened in our lifetimes and that we got to see it and laugh at it. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. Um, John Canelli fucking, I can't believe it. Like how we are so lucky that this happened in our lifetimes and we were able to see it. And that, and that just so happens that somebody, um, like this exists. Like it's so hard to believe that this actually happened. That there's someone out there who's actually like this, who actually did this. You know, like, how does this happen? How fucking stupid do you have to be to do this? And then you realize, man, this actually happened. That is the scary thing. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, what, a, what a time to be alive, man. And he is, oh, I love that he's shaking. Oh, it fucking gives me such a good feeling. I don't want to get you in trouble, bro. Bro. I also don't want to get me in trouble either. Bro. We knew this was wrong when you walked in. Yes, sir. Yes. I think I can learn real fast to love you. Fourteen years old. Oh, 14 years old. I think the th- I think the second kid was thirteen. I think that's what it said. Do you know that it's illegal to have a conversation on the internet with the intent to have sex with a woman? Yes, sir. So you came here knowingly violating the law. <laughs> right there, he shakes a little bit more. Right there, <laughs> he shakes. His, he shakes a little bit more. Right there. Oh man, you think that this is the fastest or the hardest um his brain has ever worked in his life? You know, I uh, probably I don't know if he ever graduated from high school. Maybe graduate if he even went to fucking high school, but um, if he did, he never worked this hard. Because he didn't go to college or anything. He didn't do any of that. He doesn't have a job. Um, is this the hardest his brain has ever worked? And then he still doesn't even have any excuses. He doesn't have anything else to say except, I was just chatting. I'm sorry. I was just chatting. And his hands are fucking shaking. <laughs> that's, that's the limit of his brain power. That's all his brain power can give him is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I was just chatting. Nelly was significant because not only did he admit what oh, yeah, he was doing was wrong, the right there. he also admits that he knew it was illegal, and he showed up anyway. What do you think should happen to you? I don't know, sir. I don't know, sir. Well, there's something you gotta know. Oh, this is this is. Don't do it to him. <laughs> don't do it to him, Chris. He can't fucking handle it. <laughs> Oh, this is this is gonna be great. <laughs> I am not the father of the boy, but I am. <laughs> the cameras come out. Love him. I'm Chris Hansen of Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why this fucking point of view shot makes me laugh so hard, but it does. It's like it's like they fucking caught it. It's like this camera guy's coming out of the woodworks, as uh, fucking William Rowell would say. And uh, he's like, they caught the crime of the century right here. He's just like running in, like, oh, I can't miss a second of this. It just makes me laugh for whatever reason. Let's watch it again. The father of the boy. But I am Chris Hansen of Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on computer predators. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say to us? Oh my 
goodness. Oh, that makes me laugh so much. And then he looks at the camera right here. And <laughs> I love the way he looks right here. He looks so fucking stupid right here. Oh, I have to just watch that one more time. Well, just one more time. I'm probably the only one who thinks that that's so funny, but it's fucking hilarious to me. I love... I that you're doing a story on computer predators. Anything else you'd like to say to us? We'd like to hear it. No, no. I love... I, he looks so fucking stupid when he... On, <laughs> I mean, he is so fucking stupid, but he looks so stupid right there, man. And again, yeah, so I guess it really wasn't the camera angle, because you can see his fucking tits right there. But this is a nice little setup, you know, you got a nice bar right here, what is that, a fucking, like, blender? You got chips, a water bottle, you got your fucking ID. <sighs> it's a nice fucking setup right there. <laughs> I wonder, oh man, that's another thing. The fucking status of that stool that he's sitting on. Man, there are some T-Capists out there that would pay a lot of money for that stool. You think they had somebody wipe it down afterwards? Because, um, uh, he doesn't look like he's very clean. I a clean. Um, yeah, I know, he doesn't, he doesn't look very, very sanitary. Um, you know, he can't even tie his shoes, so obviously, I don't know how he cleans himself, but... Yeah, there, there, there are some tea caps out there that would pay a lot of money for that stool. It's probably fucking, they probably fucking incinerated that thing. <laughs> fucking two minutes afterwards. Is it another point of view fucking running in shot? If not, you're free to leave. Thank you. You can take the towel to the garage and get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a great fucking shot right there. Fucking Kennelly walking out, he's got his towel. He's still holding on. See, that's why you gotta learn to wrap your fucking towel, Kennelly. Then you would have two hands to hold your t to hold your clothes and everything. Oh, man. And then he's fucking walks into the camera guy. You can take the towel to the garage and get dressed. <laughs> can you please get the camera off of me, bro? Bro, I'll be your boyfriend, bro. Just get that camera off of me. Oh, man. And then he's he's so flustered. Thank you. you can take the towel to the garage and get dressed. <laughs> is that's why I love the first part of this. Like the second part has a lot of humor in it as well. I love both parts. Don't get me wrong. I love both parts. But that's why I love this first part is because he's fucking like you got to be insane to fucking do this, man. Oh man, like the second part has its moments. Don't get me wrong. I love the second part. I love both parts. But the first part, man, is so special. This is a groundbreaking moment of T Captain right here. Like the second part is more memeable and quotable lines, but man, this part it's just something about how it does it for me. He sees the camera. He's trying to keep the towel up around him. <laughs> He's trying to grab trying to keep the towel around him. Grab his clothes and head out the door and he gets his underwear on and just See, and he's like he's he lied. Because he said he doesn't wear underwear. And he's like, oh, he got his underwear on. Look at this fucking shot, too. Oh, man. He's like, oh, shit. Now I know I'm on camera. <laughs> so I have to fucking... Oh, man. I See, I wonder if he realized that he uh, was on camera the entire time or not. And because he's like, oh, shit. He's probably like, oh, shit. They all saw me fucking naked. <laughs> Beelines to get out of there. Fucking beelines. He's got the fucking jorts back on. He doesn't even. <laughs> that that sight of him walking out fucking half naked. Oh, it's that's. Oh, it just does something for me, man. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. If he had just left it at that, and that's it's the end of the first part here. So. Oh, oh boy. I'm gonna do part two. I'm gonna get to it soon. Um. But yeah, John fucking Canelli, man. Oh, what a fucking legend. Okay. Well, until next time, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later.